Hello guys, welcome back. It's been a while, but come up here to fish for a couple hours during the daylight. Hopefully get out some nice fish. Fishing up brown down today, come up here. You can see it's quite rough, it's really difficult to get my tent on. I just felt like a twat when I got here. But we fish with a little bit of ragworm, a little bit of lug, just simple one up, one down, uh, flapper sort of style rig, no clips, no nothing, just try to keep it plain and simple. It's literally horrendous. My local fishing at the moment, the wind's been so high lately, it's due to be really high during the week as well. So I thought why it dropped, and this is probably the lowest that it's going to be for quite some time. So get up here, get some fishing done, as we pull a fish out for the camera. So the rig what I'm using, I'm one up, one down. It's a very simple rig what I made up on the beach. This one here, I'm using a four ounce lead, a gripper. Always when these come in, definitely these breakaway cheaper ones. They tend to get looser over age. So we what I tend to do is to pinch them together like that. So the metal bars and where the beads are on there, and you push it back into the lead bit tighter, keeps a nice grip. Always push them back in, just bend them back in like that and they just stay there a bit. They're a bit more firmer, they hold a bit better. So when you reel in, always make sure you clean your hooks off. 
The old little bit of wire in there, you don't want it on there. So on the bottom one, sometimes fishing with one wire, sometimes fishing with two. This time I'm going to put a couple on, so I feed that one about halfway up, put it up, the shank the out of the way. Get my second one, I'll pop him up. Keep him feeding up nice. This is how I'm fishing on the bottom hook, where I'm fishing the two hooks. I'm going to target him mainly the flounder, maybe if there's one knocking around, maybe an early place. And the top hook here, just using a bit of frozen lug what I've got. So I'm using a size two, so I'm using a reasonably sized, decent sized bait. So I keep wrapping around, just keep, keep the hook going through so you keep it tight. If you feed these sort of worms straight up over the hook, what tends to happen it just all falls down to the bottom where the hook point is and that's not what you want. You want to keep it, you always want to keep your hook points nice and clear. So if a fish picks it up, that hook point's going to meet its mouth and get a good hook. There's nothing worse than fishing all the time. You keep getting bites and you can't work out what's actually like hitting your baits and Nine times out of ten, it's because your hook points ain't clear. But that's the sort of size bait what I'm using. Reasonable size. Yeah, also, as you can see, although my buddy's, my tent's up here, the tide's way out at the moment. We got here, started fishing at about half eleven. It's now quarter past two. So we've had plenty of whiting out, but just keep persevering. Yeah, it's never pleasant fishing in these sort of conditions anyway, so. If you can see me, just bring the lead, drop it underneath my feet, underneath the rod tip here, lift the rod back, my weight onto my put my weight onto my back leg just so I can feel the lead there on the tip of the rod. Make sure the bow arm's always clear. Just whack it. It's not gone out super far. 20 odd yards if that but in these sort of conditions in that low water I can feel that knocking around on the bottom there. And it's in. Set the rod up like that. It's clear of all the waves there. Hopefully you can see me. It's clear of all the waves. Some lines above. I was having a lot of issues earlier. Definitely fishing more up the middle where the waves were hitting onto the line. And when that happens, you get a lot of weeds start pulling up the, the shoots up the line. Then your line starts going under. Your grippers fall out. And then and it tends to get buried under the shingle, so it's a pain in the ass. With this rod, it keeps just like tipping over the one on the left. It's pulling over ever so slightly. Bring it in, see what we got. Been out for quite a while.
Yeah, another little white in. Yeah, well, guys, if you get a chance, have a look at my blog on Facebook right about now. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, or we'll do what you want. <laughs> but there's the session. Be lucky, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you on Friday.